Lori at Pizzazz Studios. Welcome back. And today I'm doing a tile here, but I've been painting an awful lot and doing some commission work. And I came across some colors that I found to be absolutely stunning and I wanted to share it with you. So I'm gonna do this fairly quick. So this is a house paint that I'm gonna lay down on a four and a quarter inch tile that I have in front of me. I'm only using four colors and I'm doing a bloom. I will leave my paints and recipes down in the description box for you, as I always do. So you can reference those if you'd like to. So I'm covering my tile here with the paint. I cover the entire tile when I do this. Making sure all sides and corners are completely covered. This is how I do it. Um, you know, you might see other people do things differently. This is what works for me. So I'm just sharing my tips with you. If, if you uh, find something else works for you, then that's good, because you want to find what works best for you. And um, all I can do is share what works for me. All right, so I have my tile completely covered. Now I'm gonna take a toothpick and I'm gonna pop these little bubbles that I have in my paint, because you don't want those to pop while you're painting or while it's drying. Because if it does, you'll end up with little white dots all in your paint. And sometimes that's not such a pretty look, and other times it can actually add a nice effect to it. So, but most of the time, I don't generally want them in there, so I take a minute just to pop them. I do not torch this at all. Um, I don't like the way it comes out when I torch. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down my primary blue first. And I'm using up some leftover paints and I had just done a tile or a couple of tiles rather with these colors. But I wasn't recording so I want, wanted to make a video for you so you can see how they come out because I think they're gorgeous. This color here is deep yellow. Now my opinion, I love the way this blue and yellow mix together and they create a beautiful green. Now I do have a couple air bubbles that I'm gonna pop now. There's a good size one right there and just a couple little ones here. And I see one more. My, toothbook, my toothpick is broken. <laughs> I've been painting so much. It actually broke on me yesterday. But I only had a little bit left to do in my commission order, so I thought I would um, keep on with it. Yeah, I have more bubbles coming up now as I'm speaking. I, I see them rising to the top. So I'm not sure if they're coming from the white paint or the blue paint, but they're definitely underneath the yellow. I'm gonna take this just to recenter my paint here in the middle of my tile. All right, and now the next color I'm gonna use is copper. I love copper. I'm being fairly generous with it because I think it's gonna look amazing. I'll show you in just a minute when I blow this out and spin it. And then the last color I'm using is the 24 karat gold from Deco Art. I have videos on how to make a pouring medium and I have videos on how to mix your paints with that pouring medium as well. For this, I will put the links for you down in the box, in the description box below the video. And if you enjoy my videos and if you find them helpful, please do hit the thumbs up button. I appreciate that. It helps me out on YouTube when you do that. And if you could leave a comment, that's nice too. I love hearing from you and I love connecting with you. Let me center this a bit. All right, this looks really good. I have, I think, just enough cell activator left for this. I'm using a white one. My cell activator is three parts Australian Floetrol to one part Amsterdam Titanium White. I'm gonna go ahead and blow this out. 
Part of my head for just a second. Oh, beautiful. I just love these colors together. I just had to share this with you because it's so pretty. I love that, like I said, the yellow and the blue that mixes makes an amazing green. I think it's so pretty. You actually get different shades of green depending on how much blue and yellow you get in certain areas. It's really pretty. Like over here, there's like a turquoise color, you know, and over here there's a darker green. It almost looks like kind of like a phthalo green. Super pretty. All right, so let me just make sure all my edges here, the paint on them in the corners. When I want to spin this out, make sure everything flows evenly and get a nice spin out of this. This looks pretty good. I'm going to put a little paint from my mat up on the corners here just to make sure. Sometimes the corners like to be finicky. Paint can get stuck there and not move. That looks good. So let me know if uh, what kind of videos you'd like to see. I need your feedback so I know what you're looking for. If you want to see like certain colors, if you want to know certain techniques, if you want to know how to do something better, anything like that, I can try and help you out. But I need to hear from you so I know what you're looking for. I'd appreciate that so much if you could leave them down in the comment section. All right, I'm going to give this a spin. It looks pretty good. So let's give this a little spin here. I just made one, I can show you. I'll let that finish spinning, but in the meantime, now this is the one I just made prior to the video. And I'm hoping you can see that okay. I love this very much. Same exact colors. Um, I don't know if you can see all that side by side, but there's that one that I just did, that I did not record, and um, that I thought I'd make a video for you. Because it's amazing, I just love the colors. Oh, so pretty. And see the blue and um, the yellow mix here, I have some like a turquoise and a bit of a yellow and a green blending together. All right, one more spin. If you want to leave me what your favorite colors are, I'll be more than happy to make videos with your favorite colors if you'd like that. If there's anything you'd like to see, you know, purples or greens or reds or oranges or, you know, pinks, whatever, whatever. I think that would be a lot of fun. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna center this back a little bit this way if I can. I'm just tipping my entire spinner so I don't have to remove it from my cup that's underneath here. All right, this looks amazing. I'm gonna wipe off the bottom here and then I'm gonna give you a close up. Make sure you wipe off all this excess paint underneath your tire when you're done because you don't want that paint to continue pulling the the uh, paint off the top of your tile, it'll distort the whole thing on you. And if it's not level, you know, all your paint's gonna dump off one side and then you get this really, you know, distorted looking painting and you don't want that. All your beautiful work. It's happened to me, it's upsetting. <laughs> Doesn't happen anymore, I make sure of that. But it has happened. When I started doing this and it's just, uh, it's not fun to lose all your work. So make sure your tile's level when you go to place it to dry it, as well as wiping off the bottom so you get all that paint off. Now, let me give you a close up of this beautiful piece. See if you notice where the blues and the yellows mix and give me these stunning greens. Look, here's a bit here in this corner. There is a ton of shimmer and iridescence to this because of the copper and the gold. All along the side here, it's really pretty. 
So there's some more green up there, a little bit there. There's all sorts of different shades. Look underneath here where the copper is. Let me see if I can point. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm trying to point while holding my phone and I'm trying to look through the phone and not touch this. <laughs> so there's some blue and green underneath the copper coming up. It just looks awesome. I love it. I love, love, love it. Let's see if I can catch any of the glimmer here in the light for you. I guess that's all glimmer. It's all in the light. <laughs> So that's what I got on that one. I think it's super pretty. Crazy amount of cells, beautiful lacing. I just think that's simply gorgeous, simply gorgeous. Let me get my other one real quick. I'll show you. Okay, here's the other one I was trying to show you. I'm not sure how well you were seeing it, so I thought I'd give you another glimpse. If I can get my phone to focus and everything to come in. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Huh. Okay, so that's the other one. So they both came out absolutely amazing. All right, well, that's it. I just wanted to share that with you. Like I said, leave me some comments and hit the like button. And I'll see you again real soon on the next video. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me.